YouTube has yet again updated their app and it is just not working for me. So um, I'm going to just give this a go one more time. Can you guys let me know how the stream is for you? On my end, it's very jerky. Um, but let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if it's a smooth picture for you. I'm going to try to pull it up on my computer. And this is already my second try, so I may have to try one more time if this doesn't work out. <laughs> um, but it's being a pain in the tush. So please let me know in the chat box how it's coming through for you. Um, Picture-wise, sound-wise, I mean, right now you can't really see much because I'm not doing too much, but let me know. I can't even get it to open on my computer. Arg. I don't know, maybe it's my internet. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Linda. Hey, Studio Sarah. Hey, CJ. So is anyone else having issues on their end? Or does it seem fine to you guys? Because it could just be my internet. Um, and also for anyone watching this later on, this is a live video. The whole point is to chit chat with people, answer questions, etc. So if that's not your kind of video, feel free to not watch. It's okay. Okay. All right. Well, if it's coming through fine for you guys, we shall proceed. I cannot see this on my computer. Oh, it's a black screen. Hmm. All right. Let me try. Okay, now it's working on my end. Okay, anybody else having issues? Because it's working on my end now. And hey, Barbie, that's awesome. Before I actually get started, let me know. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Great there, okay, good. All right. Well, try refreshing Brandy, see if that helps for you. No issues there, okay, great. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, you can see a canvas and three bottle bottoms. Excellent, that's what you should see. <laughs> okay, so basically what we're gonna do today is I am going to do a pour and I'm gonna pour over all three bottle bottoms. And they're going to kind of run into each other. And we're going to see what kind of pattern that makes. I am kind of excited. So the picture is a bit jerky on my end. Hopefully it's not on yours. Uh, I am also recording this separately on another camera so that I can post a regular video later. So even if this one isn't that great, the one later should be good. Okay. All right, so this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. We need about nine ounces of paint. So I'm gonna fill this cup up completely. Um, it may look like there's two cups here. That's because there are, they're stuck together. All right, and I'm gonna use a bunch of warm colors with maybe a pop of cool. These are all mixed media girl pouring paints. We've got white. Um, I'm gonna use some peachy coral. Yeah, I love experimenting. And let me know in the chat box where you're all watching from. Love to hear where you're watching from. All right, peachy coral. Let's go for some pearl paint. And what color is this? Some garnet. And then Maybe real royal purple in here. All right, North Carolina in the house. You guys may be able to see over here a little edge of a painting. I did a live earlier today with Garrick Brown. He was at my house hanging out for the last couple days. Um, let's throw a dash of deep sea in here. So there will be blue, but it's going to be a dark one. And we'll layer some of these. Just got back from Fluid Art Experience in Seattle. Tons of fun. Try to see some gold here. Not gonna do any yellow. Let's do a little more peachy coral. And then we should be pretty good. Maybe I'll top it off with a little bit more 
do a little more garnet. Well, actually, let's do some copper. Oh, that one was not shaken. <laughs> I think Garrick made that mistake earlier. All right, <laughs> garnet it is. Okay. And then here we go. You guys ready for this excitingness? And I'm not going to be um, spinning this. So this one will be tilted. I'm going to scooch these guys out of the way a bit. All right. Um, I don't entirely have all the plans, but let's start off here. And then we'll take a break there. We'll go over here. I'm trying to pour kind of evenly in the top here. I mean, it's looking pretty cool already, I'm gotta say. Now pour the little baby. You gotta be careful on the baby. You have to have time and patience and a steady hand for this little baby one. It's Veronica's favorite. My favorite's the middle one. All right, now we're gonna go back to the big one, which is definitely by far the easiest to pour. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna pour on each of these one more time. So I'm gonna pour a decent amount here, then a decent amount on the middle one, and then the rest out on the small one. And sorry, I can't look at the comments and pour this at the same time, or I would just make a hot mess. But I will check out the chat box in just a second. I'm going to go more straight pour on this one, I think. It's just easier. Your arm does get a little tired after a while. All right, boom. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, huh? All right, we've got a question here. Do you overlay with epoxy afterwards? I typically do not. I typically will seal my paintings with um a spray varnish like rust-oleum crystal clear enamel or something like that so i'm gonna lift up on the medium bottle bottom first not any particular reason just seems like a good idea i'm gonna leave the little one for last i think yeah occasionally i'll resin them but not typically all right let's lift up on the big one And let that kind of fill in. See, I want to have this have a little more room to run off. I love the peachy coral. I know, I don't use it often enough. I need to use it a little bit more. Um, I think if I were to do this again, I could maybe place the bottle bottoms down and then pour them one at a time, picking them off when I'm done with them. But let's just try this for now. Aw, oh, thanks, Brandy. Missed you so much at FAE. So the next fluid art experience, you guys, should be in Tennessee, in Nashville. So hopefully some more of you guys can make it. I hope start planning now because you should have um, a little less than a year. It's going to be spring next year. You'll have some time. Although I will be at PoorCon in Las Vegas in August. So if any of you can make it to that, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, definitely a different kind of class format and everything though, so. All right, I'm just speeding this up a little bit because I'm not super patient. I may not wait for that to completely fill in. All right, let's go for it. And I'm not gonna do my lines on this one. I'm just going to tilt. I really like this part. I'm 
really, really curious what this would look like spun out. going to take off some of this red in the corner and stretch it back this way a little bit. There we go. That is weird. <laughs> what do you guys think though? Kind of fun. Yeah, the baby one looks pretty cool. I'm kind of tempted to try it the other way that I was saying. And I do have some time and I do have I'm a little limited on drying space right now, so let me see. <laughs> this is fun. It came out, honestly, a lot more red, white, and blue than I anticipated. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's do a quick close-up on this, and then I'll figure out where to put it, and we'll just do one more. I'm going to try it the other way that I was mentioning. Um, so camera's going to shake for a second here. Oh no, Jerry. All right, I have a corner over here to fix. But check out the really fun lines on this. A little more garnet than I thought I did, but that's okay. I'm gonna put probably some more gold in the next one and some yellow to go a little more warm. This ended up being, like I said, a little more red, white, and blue than anticipated. So pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm filming set on another camera over here, so I'm going to do a quick close up on that. Let's see, so you guys can have a full video later. I'll do a, like a voiceover and everything. Hey, Tara. Good to see you. Garrick just left. I just dropped him off at LAX. But we had some fun. All right. So I'm going to pull it out a full video on that later. All right. Let's get this guy out of the way. And we're going to try one more. I'll touch up this corner real quick. I think I can maybe just move it over to this corner for now. Hmm. Not the best, but <laughs> all right, grab another canvas. And because there's already wet paint on there, let me raise this canvas up so that I'm not setting it down in a hot mess. adjust the camera as needed in just a second. All right, so these bottle bottoms obviously already have a little bit of paint on them. I'm going to just wipe off the bottom real quick. And then we'll get started. <laughs> So who's already planning on coming to PoorCon in August? Who's already got their tickets? Me, me, me. I know Tara's going to be there. Garrick's going to be there. All the cool people. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think if I want to place this a little bit differently. Or um, how about we do stacked? What do you guys think of that? So I'll pour on the big one first, pull it off, then pour on the medium, 
pull it off, pull it off and then the small one. What do you guys think of that? Um, Lisa, I'm honestly not sure of the price, but what I will say is you have to think of it like a convention and it's three days of artists from all over the world. If it is $1,800, I guarantee you that is worth it. Trust me. Um, I have paid $2,500 for conferences and stuff like that. So trust me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just saying, Kim. All right, I think we'll do that. So I'm going to do small, medium. Just wiping off some of the paint from the bottom here and then large. So it's just gonna be a big surprise. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I think I'm just gonna use this same cup. And I'm gonna go a little bit warmer on the colors. One. Let's go more like orange and stuff. Okay. All right, so here we go. Oh, hold on. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. I can get you guys a better angle. And then I'll start pouring. There. How's that? That's better, right? golden sun. I'm going to use some more peachy coral. I will use some more of that. Oh, I've got some razzle dazzle and some garnet. Okay, I think that'll be good. All right, here we go. Start off with a little bit of white and I'm going to do a little golden sun. These bottles are almost empty. Is anyone else as bad with their um, paint bottles as they are their shampoo bottles? You're like, it's got a drop left, I swear. <laughs> Copper after shaking. I don't think there's enough in this one, but I bet you I can find another one. Okay, let's go with a little bit of gold. Some tiger orange. This is a seasonal one that I tend to put out at um, like in the fall. So I'm sure I'll have that again coming this fall. Some peachy coral. Let me give copper a quick look real quick. Let's see, copper. Yep, copper. And I shook it, so we're good. Okay. And then I think I will still use deep sea as like a contrasting darker color and then garnet. Okay. <laughs> okay. See you later, Tara. All right. I do want some more yellow in there though. Let me see what I can find for yellow. I have so many golden suns. I know I do. Oh, there's some primary yellow. Let's go for that. Yellow sometimes can take over. Ooh, I just found another golden sun. I knew I had more. All right, layer these just a little bit more. Also, that last one came out a little darker than anticipated, so I definitely want to add more white in here. Okay. But you can, of course, feel free to use any and all colors that you'd like. All right, let's take quick votes. 
you think this one's gonna come out better or the last one? Are we, are we feeling the Russian nesting doll situation? You know what I'm missing is Merlot. That's what I don't have in here. That's okay. All right, here we go. No, we're good, okay. All right, so we're gonna pour a bit here. And I think I'll try to do like half the cup on this one and then a little bit less of the cup on the next one and then less of the cup on the final one. And don't worry, we're gonna get quite a bit of yellow in this initial pour, but it'll get kind of moved out of the way. All right, so there's number one. And let's lift this up. Surprise, there's one underneath there. Okay, number two. I was not really paying attention to which direction these are going. So I actually want to rotate this one a little bit. I'll pay a little more attention on the last one here. Let's let that drain down. <laughs> uh, the peach is peachy coral. Okay. Lift that up. And then let's see, we're going to, actually I think this is a good direction. It should go in between those other petals. I kind of think it could be cool to have three different color cups actually, so that this last one is like a completely different color, maybe a darker color for contrast or something like that. I think that could be cool. Just thinking out loud here. And this, with the Russian nesting doll kind of thing, I definitely think would look really good on a spinner. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna let that drip down for just a second. Okay, good, here we go. And this should fill in pretty quickly. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I really wish I had this on a spinner. Um, what do you guys think? Stick to break it up or just leave it as is and tilt? Hey, Erin, good to see you. Going once, going twice. Okay, I think we're gonna just tilt. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping over there. Maybe there's just a delay on my end. All right, we're gonna tilt. I almost always break it up, so yeah, leave it. Tilt as is, okay, good. And I'm going to tilt like corner to corner back to the middle. And that's the best way to maintain the design as much as possible. Ooh, I think this is going to be awesome. Look, that flower in the middle is really holding up quite well. At some point, we're going to have to stretch it a little bit further. But for now, all right, here we go. And as always, do not worry about the paint that's on the table that gets used in other projects. And in case you need some ideas for yourself, I just released my acrylic skins course. 
with a ton of awesome acrylic skins projects. Ooh, I think I want it off center actually. Yep, I'm gonna leave it off center like that. I love it. That's actually really cool. Okay, let me bring you guys in for a close up. I like things off center myself. Okay, camera's gonna shake. I 100% like this one better. It's, it's official. It looks really cool. And I think I can play around with the colors a bit. So use, maybe make like three small cups of colors, different colors. Um, or even this could be cool with even just two, like using two bottle bottoms, like the big one and then the little one. And on the big one, you do a bunch of greens. On the little one, you do, um, I don't know, pinks or whatever, some pretty flower colors. And that could be awesome, right? So some more experimentation with these coming up. <laughs> Aw, Erin, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so tired. I am really hoping to take a day off soon. <laughs> um, but for now, soldiering on. Um, oh, an exciting announcement before we end off for today. I just got a firm, which is the which is the payment plan thing. Um, like, you know, do pay in four or whatever, um, or even a with a firm, I think you can even break it down even more to like 12 monthly payments or whatever. Um, so I just installed that on my website, which is really cool. So you can now use that at checkout. And then I have um, two ongoing coupon codes that you guys can use. So one is create 12 and that gives you 12% off of any, um, any kits. So it can be the painting kits, the fluid art or whatever, the acrylic pouring kits or the resin kits or pouring paint, 12% off of that. And that is create 12 is that code. Um, if someone wants to write that in the chat box, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, I'll do that in a second. Um, and then the next one is Flash, which is um, a very brief, <laughs> I did it like for a couple hours yesterday and I'm doing it for a few more hours today. It'll give you 60% off of any courses. Okay. Yeah, totally, Barbie. I agree. So I'm going to put these both here. So create... 12 for 12% off of paint and kits. And that ends Friday. Then flash for 60% off of online courses. Ends tonight. Okay, and everything's on mixedmediagirl.com. La. Yeah, go buy all the things so that I can make more music, okay? <laughs> I know, right, Kim? I cannot wait to do this on a spinner. So definitely more videos coming up now that FAE is over. I still have to catch up on shipping, but then I have a little bit of extra time, um, hopefully, <laughs> to start making some more really fun videos because I haven't had a lot of time to do so. Life has been crazy. All right, anyways, happy Wednesday, y'all. I really hope that you guys had fun. I had fun with you guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>